Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the Real Sociedad career mode. The first game of this episode is against Real Madrid. I've got a vote going on in the MGH United Discord right now, and I have asked the question, who should I be playing up top? Do I go with both Jovic and Isaac, or do I go with just one of them? And I can reveal the vote right now. As I'm looking at it, it might change whilst I'm recording. Two strikers as a formation is what the people want. If you want to take part in these votes, there's all sorts of votes that will be coming in the future, whether it's who to sign or what formations to play or whatever the case may be. If you want to take part in these votes, please do join the Discord. All you have to do is sub on Twitch or pledge on Patreon. Both links are in the description, but don't worry, there will be other votes that everyone can take part in as well. But uh, yeah, the, the, the community we're building in the Discord is amazing, and I really appreciate everyone that's that's joined so far. So, for this game against Real Madrid, which we absolutely need to win, by the way, we will be going with the club council's decision in the Discord to go with two strikers. So, I think the safest bet would be to go without wingers for this one and maybe go with a 4 one 2 one 2 Do you remember how good this formation was for me in the Sunderland career mode when we brought in Morris and we had him next to Nemecha? Oh, it was insane. So I think I'm going to go with that formation. And that means, of course, we put Isaac up top with Jovic and I'm going to swap them around. I think I prefer Jovic on the left side. I, I don't know why. I, I just I think that's, that's how I prefer to play. We're going to bring in Oyarzabal as the cam. And then Erdegaard can drop a little bit deeper with Marino and Dominguez. I'm going to swap these guys if I can find the right player. Select those and swap them. Um, Gaia, Torres, Llorente and Tavares. I think that's probably the formation I want to go with. The only thing I'm a little bit unsure about is it's not the strongest midfield in terms of actual physical strength. Marino and Dominguez are decent, but Erdegaard and Oyarzabal, they're not the strongest. But we'll, we'll give it a go. If it's not working out, I can always bring on ex-Madrid player Iliramendi, or we can bring in Zabeldia. Um, yeah, we, we should be absolutely fine, though, I think. We're, we're going to get into this game now. Uh, we're not in the top four, but a win here could put us in the top four. So let's go ahead and get the three points against Madrid. With Ronaldo gone for a couple of seasons now, it actually feels like just this summer he left. That's gone so quickly. But, of course, they brought in a certain Eden Hazard, and he is top scorer in the league right now and um not really looking forward to playing against him i'm not gonna lie he's gonna be up against tavares at right back so yeah the difference in quality there is gonna be rather mental now they've gone with cruz casemiro and valverde it looks like varan and ramos of course uh, they've got gareth bale playing on the right hazard on the left and i don't know who's playing down through the middle should we actually have a look at the team let's uh Let's have a look and see. So they've gone with... Uh, oh, Hazard's playing at centre forward. And then you've got Mariano playing on the left. Really? Okay, interesting. I'm really not sure why you would put Mariano on the left when you've got Hazard. But then again, Hazard as a false nine. It's not bad, is it? It really isn't bad. But we've done well here to get out of trouble. And that's a lovely ball to Marino, who's not going to get in behind Varane with his pace. But Isaac can play it onto the left side for Gaia. Straight back inside for Marino here. Into Isaac. Across the keeper. It's not a good shot. Not a good shot at all. But a good start. Oh. Oh dear. Well, that clearance from Gaia, I think it was, has gone straight to Valverde and he's in my face. Do you mind, bro? Do you actually mind? I hate that. I hate that so much. I don't know what was wrong with me. I decided to try and just clip it out onto the left side. And it's gone right to a Real Madrid player. And he puts it into the back of the net. And Real Madrid are 1-0 up. Okay, I've got a question for you guys. I was going to ask you to do this regardless of the result. But let me know. In Season 3, when we come up against Real Madrid in the league, where will we be as a club? Where do you guys think I'll be? Will I be as good as them? Will I have a, a team as good as Real Madrid's? Will I be doing well in the Champions League? Or will I just be no better than I am, say, in Season 2? I would love to know your predictions. It's going to be a tough challenge, this. You know, the difficulty I'm playing on with the sliders, it makes these games very, very tough. And uh, it's definitely not going to be easy trying to keep up with Barcelona, Real Madrid and Atletico Madrid. Here's Isaac, though. Oh. Oh, I was just about to pull the trigger as well. Try and get a shot in into that left side. 
We've got them pinned down, though. Look at this. Tons of space. Tavares into the box for Isaac. Good first touch, but the cross. Mm, we've got to do better there. So far, though, we've kept Hazard pretty quiet. That's definitely a positive. I've just forgot how quick Varane is. No chance we're going to get in behind Varane. I think, honestly, the way I started was the best way. Just lots of passing. Oh, thank you very much. Talking of passing, he's giving it straight to me. I think it's just building through, you know, maybe not trying to get in behind so much. Ramos is pretty quick as well. So, yeah, I think what I'm doing here is probably the best choice just to kind of slowly work my way through. But maybe not try and dribble around them as well, especially not with Marino, who is a little bit clunky. He's a, he's a big lad and he doesn't move so quickly with the ball. Here come Real Madrid again, though. I'm going to give that to Hazard. This is what Hazard's doing. He's just floating around. He's not really playing as a striker. He's playing everything but striker as a front three player. He's lost it, though. Here we go. Well, Yazabal's going to have a chance to put Jovic in here. Into Isaac. Oh, mistake there from Varane. Come on, Isaac. I'm just going to have to shoot. Oh, my God. What's happened to this guy? Started the season so, so well. But uh, today has not been his day so far. I'm not going to change anything, though. I think we're doing okay. Yes, we might be losing. But again, it is Real Madrid. They have a considerably stronger team. Well, not considerably, but, you know, they, they are definitely stronger in most positions. And they've just made a change. Gareth Bale has come off. And they've brought on Asensio. Very interesting. Going to play that inside. Oh, if I got a touch there with Isaac, I might have been in. There we go. Erdegaard's in. Up against his parent club. And Jovic, of course. Go on, Isaac. Ah, Valverde has been everywhere. He's sick, man. I've not really used him in FIFA 20. I need to try him out. He's, he's coming off now. They're bringing on Modric, I'm guessing. I didn't quite see who's coming on. Isco. Interesting choice. Right. Marino into Jovic. Great first touch. He's in behind. Finish it. No, he's hit the side netting. That was my chance to get even. Did Courtois touch it? I don't think he did. No, it's a goal kick. We are starting to play a little bit better, though. Here's Odegaard. It's a good run, this. In for Isaac. Come on, up against Ramos. Oh, no. <laughs> no chance. Just so quick. It's the sliders, man. Oh, that's going to be a foul as well. The sliders make them so quick. If a defender's out of position, you get all excited. You're like, yeah, I'm going to make it through. And then all of a sudden, they have this insane burst of pace. It's quite hilarious sometimes. Oh, what well on Odegaard. Nice. This is good. Finish it. Oh, Jovic. He's offside. You're kidding me. Oh, this is so unfair. I feel like the game is against me right now. We've only got 20 minutes and I've had two very good opportunities in the last 10 minutes or so. Actually, we might... No, we can't get through. Wow. Okay. Seems fair. Yep. That seems fair. <laughs> How ridiculous is that? He's taken the corner and I've chested it. <laughs> what? Oh, my God. I cannot believe we're going to lose this game because of that. How this game could have been different if I just put away one of those two chances. Well, I did put away one of them, which was offside. I can't believe that just happened, though. Tavares was right there. And he just chested it straight to Hazard. Like, ugh, good one, mate. I think, unfortunately, they've just been the better team. Just slightly. You know, we might have had maybe a little bit more possession than them. But uh, they've just had a bit more quality, you know? Like there, for example, they probably would have got in behind me. My final pass or my final shot, the execution, whatever you want to call it, just has not been there for me today. And here they come again. They could make it 3-0 if I'm not careful, which I think would be unfair. That would be very flattering. Oh, God. Whoa. Very almost 3-0, but this will be the last moment of the game. It's definitely a loss, which is a real pain. Go and get it out. Oh, no. Chase. Chase the ball. Don't let him get across in. Oh, my God. Outplayed. I just got outplayed. Wait, what? Was it offside? There you go. Well, we're just going to hoof the ball up, and that'll be it. I, I don't think it's... It, I shouldn't be too upset. You know, it's okay. We've had chances. I know on, on another day I could have beaten them today. 
Um, but right now, this isn't great because we are not in the top four. We had slightly more possession. It was 54% we had. So, yeah, that's definitely a bonus. We weren't, you know, completely dominated throughout the 90 minutes. But into training here. And uh, the youngster's gone past 75. So he's almost halfway to 76 now. And Tavares is one training drill away, or one successful training drill away from probably getting up as well, which is great. Um, Ilaramendi did not play that game, but he's happy for some reason. Okay, thank you, game. Who have we got next? And I believe we're going into the window pretty soon, aren't we? So we've got four games until the window. We've got Ibar. We've then got Vill Villadolid. Vill Valladolid. Valladolid, I think it is. And then we've got Barcelona and Osasuna. So, um, yeah, four games. Shouldn't be too much of an issue to get, I'd say, nine points out of 12. Because, uh, yeah, Barcelona are probably going to beat me. Up against Ibar now, we're going to simulate this one and we get a massive 4-1 win. Jovic was the only striker in this one. I didn't think Isaac had a particularly great game against Madrid. So we've gone back to the 4-2-3-1 the or the 4-3-3 attacking variant, I think it is. Oyarzabal getting two as well. Ibar did pull one back before half time, but that's a very, very good result. We needed that and that does mean we are in fifth place. Two points behind Real Betis, Barcelona still yet to lose. And Tavares did go up to 76 in that last game, so we didn't need the training in the end. I'm still going to train him though, even though he's already 76. How fast has that gone? Training is OP. But uh, Jose's happy as well because he's played a little bit. I, I, I didn't play him. I don't think he played in that simulated game either, did he? This game's just broken, man. It really is. But uh, we're going to play this game against Valladolid and uh, hopefully we'll get a win because I believe they are down near the bottom. Um, wait, where are they? Oh, OK. They're doing a little bit better than I expected. They are in 11th. I am actually going to bring in the youngster Baranesheya. Bar Baranesheya? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. OK, but he's going to play on the left or he has about on the right. Um, do I want to bring in anyone else? I kind of want to give Sangali another go. He was so good last time I used him. I'm actually going to rest... I'm going to rest him in, Gez. Let's put him on the bench. I mean, I don't need to rest him, but it's nice to swap out some players every now and again. Um, I was tempted to give Monreal a start, but come on. Gaia's too, he's just too good. Man, I'm not really a fan of this away kit. I, I liked it at first, but the more I use it, the oh God, the more I think it's, uh, I don't know, just doesn't, doesn't look right to me. I'm definitely going to be changing the kits for season two, but thankfully we've got the third kit installed using a mod. That's uh, definitely a good thing. I really like the third kit. I think it's better than the home kit as well, actually. Oh, Jovic has done well. Oh, wow. What a tackle from Michelle. Try and put in Oyarzabal. Oh, it's good dribbling. He's very good with the ball at his feet. He's going to turn and pass that inside to Erdegaard. He's also going to turn and pass it across to Sangali. Into Marino now. On the left here. Cross coming in for Jovic. And Jovic! Finds the back of the net with his head. He's nodded it in with so much power. He's got neck muscles that wrestlers would pray for. That was unbelievably powerful. I still don't understand. Logically, how is this possible? Mathematically, look how much power he got on that. It's unbelievable. The ball was traveling faster after the header than the cross. That's crazy. Good goal, 1-0. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, Rulis had to put it over the bar. I'm not sure it was going in, but you just never know, do you? As a keeper, I guess it's just safe to hit it out. Oh, God. Wow. That was not defended very well. They're going to have another corner here. They've got some tall players in there, including Unal, their striker, who I believe has been at many, many clubs throughout his short career so far. He's been... I, I, wasn't he at Man City at some point or on loan from Man City? I don't know. He's a good player though, Unal. And he is going to be their main danger man. Looks like they're going to try and cross it back in again. There it is. Oh, Superman save. Space here for Sangali. He's played it in behind. Back into the box now for Jovic. He's gone for the, the side bicycle kick. Can you imagine the scenes if he managed to score from that? I mean, I wouldn't put it past him. He's in that kind of form right now. One last chance before the break, maybe. Oh, what a ball. Go on. Sangali's in. Into Erdegaard. No, it's been blocked. That was a goal. That was definitely a second goal. But I tell you what, for a first half performance, not too bad at all. Why not? 
Oh, why not indeed? Hello, Marino. One of the best all-rounders I've used in FIFA 20 so far. Defensively, physically, going forward, his shots, his passing, his jumping, his heading. He's good at everything. And this is just proof again. Have a shot. If you don't try, you don't get rewarded. You know, if you don't try, you don't score. That's what they say. If you don't shoot, you don't score. And look at this. Outside the edge of the box there, and it just goes flying past the keeper. There's the second goal, and I think the three points are... They're pretty safe now. Now I want to score a third and really put this game beyond them. Here goes Gaia. What do we do here? Chip it into the box. Oh, 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 he was about to shoot. Come on, game. He deserves a goal. He's been brilliant today. Oh, look at Sangali. Here he is. Go on. Another pass inside. Nice. Erdegaard makes it three. Now it's definitely beyond doubt. Oh, man, what do I do about Erdegaard? There's, there's moments where I think oh, he, he's, he's not that great. Maybe I won't bother re-signing him at the end of the season. But then there's moments like that where I'm just thinking, how can I even think about not trying to buy him back after his loan? You know, he, he's, he's superb at times. I think what it is is because he's, he's still young and he's quite a small guy, he's not very physical. And in FIFA, I find that if you're not a very strong player, you just get dominated. Oh, look at him there, though. I do love how agile he is, and he's very quick, and his left foot is just deadly. Here he goes. Maybe he can get an assist as well. No, that's my bad. That was a bad pass from me. But let me know, guys. There will be a vote for sure at the end of the season that everyone can take part in, and that is whether or not I blow a ton of money, oh, God, at the end of the season, or at the start of next season, I should say, and bring Erdegaard back. Worst case, I guess we could just loan him again. But I would love to actually have him, you know, bought outright. And that is definitely offside. Surely. Yeah, it is. It's 3-0, though. Who cares if they score? Wait, what? They've got Ben Arthur. Is that a real signing or has that just happened in my career mode? I'm going to have to find out. Ben Arthur, man. What a, a legend of the game, somewhat. May not have done too much, but just such a... A cool player to watch throughout his career. That's awesome. If that's a real signing, I'm, I'm glad he's still playing. But anyway, 3-0 victory. Fantastic result. But up next, yep, it's the tough one. We have Barcelona. At home, though, maybe we can do something at home. I am very, very tempted to just overload the midfield. Make it really difficult for them to, to penetrate my mid midfield because that's where Barcelona excel. It's when they just cut through the middle. Um, and their wingers all cut inside. You know, maybe I go with uh, a 4-1-2-1-2 again, like we did against Real Madrid, although it didn't really work. I'm actually thinking 4-1-4-1, maybe. We could give it a go. I think I'm going to put Isaac on his own up top. So Jovic is going to be dropped for this one, and I'm thinking Ilera Mendy should maybe come in for this one. And then on the right, we will go with... I'll tell you what, right, I'm going to do it again. It works really well. I really like Oyarzabal on the right. And bringing in Bar Baron Nesheia. <laughs> I've got no idea. Uh, I might just call him Barony. Baron. I don't know. What's his first name? It doesn't say it here. But he was really good in that last game on the left. But this is a different level now. We're coming up against Barcelona. So um, I think this is the team I'm going to go with. It's going to be quite difficult to score. But maybe it's going to be better in terms of being defensive. I think... Just don't lose. I think that's that's what I've got to do here. Just get that clean sheet and maybe steal a goal. I am intrigued to see this Barcelona lineup. I'm guessing, yep, Lionel Messi's there. Captain to Stegen's there as well. Obviously, I can't show the lineup. So what we will do is go into player ratings and have a look. Suarez. Oh, they've got Payet on the left. What? But uh, midfield three of De Jong, Arthur and Vidal. And then they've got Albert Koulibaly, Longley, and Morer. Who's Morer? I have never heard of that guy. No idea who that is. Okay, well, there are some positives there. It isn't as strong as it could be, I would say. But with Suarez, Messi, yeah, it's still going to be tough. Payet, though, what a strange signing. I've not seen that before. But it's good. It's good for me. Imagine if they had someone like Neymar or... I don't know, if they brought in Sane or someone like that on that left side. Because you know they've got the money for it. Here's Ilaramendi. We're going to play it in behind. And then try and get a cross in. 
Oh, it's not bad, you know. Oh, Koulibaly had to deal with it. Interesting signing as well. And the fact that they've got Longley playing at right centre-back, even though he's left-footed, that drives me mad. That makes me so angry. Oh, that's a good header. Go on. Go on. Oh, oh, he almost got through. Very, very good start from us. Barcelona not, not looking too hot defensively. Oh, look at the space. Go on. Open up. Left foot. Ah. Could have put it a little bit further past to Stegen, but I think he probably would have saved it anyway. He's such a good goalkeeper. But look at this. We've won it back again. Well, there we go. Put it straight in behind. Nice. Onto his right foot. Into the box. Oh, yeah, that's a foul. I think it's just on the edge of the box, though. It's not going to be a penalty. It's going to be a free kick. Such a shame. Let's chip this one in. Oh. oh. Close. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Um, what do I do? Help. Help. Help me. Oh, my gosh. That was too close. I had no chance keeping up with Messi. He's too quick. And that's a dodgy ball in. Thankfully, the keeper's there. Go on. In behind. It's a lovely pass from Ilaramendi. He's got such a good pass on him. Play it inside. Nice. Over to Isaac. Oh, my God. Koulibaly. How quick was that? Straight on to me. And now Suarez up against Llorente. Llorente wins. Oh, okay. And then I've just given it straight to Barcelona again. He's going to get the cross in. No, he's not. I've read him well there. We've got maybe a, a one more chance left in this half. Make a run. Make a run over the top. Nice. Lovely from Isaac there. Play on, ref. Play on. I need some support here. Oh, my God. I just ran into him. That's not what I planned to do. And the chance is gone. Just like that. Honestly, though, this has been considerably easier than the game against Real Madrid. Even though Barcelona are the team that literally haven't lost a game this season. It's it's very strange. Oh, he got there. Oh, my God. Look at him go. Play it on the right. Now, Isaac in behind. Go on. He's definitely got the pace, but he hasn't got the physicality. He's done it, though. Play inside. No, the pass was just a little bit too close. Well, Yazabal was through. Oh, I'm gutted, man. That was such a big opportunity, and I've wasted it again. There we go. Lovely from Isaac. Get it in the box now. Ah, not the right idea. I mean, no, it was the right idea, but the execution was bad, and it was too late. It was going to always be too close to the keeper. We've got it back, though. Let's see what we can do. Over the top again. Head that inside. Oh. Oh. Please. No. I wanted him to shoot with his left foot game. No. You're joking me. I even shifted it onto the left side of his body so he could just open up and try and finesse it, man. And it's just... Oh. Oh, never mind. We're in again. Come on, Dominguez. Yes. He hit it with the wrong foot as well. But it doesn't matter because look where the ball went. The back of the net. And we have taken the lead against the current unbeaten team. The only unbeaten team, I believe, in La Liga. Barcelona 1-0 down. This is a lovely pass inside from Marino. But the touch, I mean, it wasn't even a touch. He just, I thought he touched it and then hit it, but he didn't. He just hit it first time. Right, we've got 20 minutes here. I'm going to make a change. And I think I'm going to take off Illa Remendi because he's not very quick. And I'm going to bring in... Erdegaard. Oh, is that a good idea? I, I think, yeah, it is going to be Erdegaard. And then I'm going to bring on Yanazai and swap wings like this. Okay, I think I think that's what I want to do. Just have a bit more pace in midfield. Even if Erdegaard is dropping a bit deeper, his passing will be great going forward, just like Ilar Mendes. But he, he's just a bit more mobile, you know. Maybe he can get some interceptions in there for me because Ilar Mendy just can't. He's not quick enough for that. Okay. Okay. Wow. And just like that, they've scored. Unbelievable pass from that right back, Morer. I've never heard of the guy, but look at this. Bang. I mean, that's ridiculous, isn't it? What an amazing goal that is. Who is Morer? M-O-R-E-R. -E Who is that? Never heard of him. Unless, um, maybe I have and I just don't recognise the name. Maybe if I see a picture of him, I'll be like, oh, him. But right now, I've got no idea who he is. He's a mystery man playing for Barcelona. Oh, it's off the line. Off the line. They should have scored there. 
And they've brought on Arda Turan. I can't believe he's still playing football, that guy. Oh, go on. Ball over the top. Oh, hello. Oh, Longley just had to head it, didn't he? Okay, we've got just under 10 minutes left here. Well, no, pretty much 10 minutes, including injury time. There's still, there's still time to get a goal, but that does swing both ways. Barcelona could still win this. Go on, Yanazai. Go on. It's a good run, you know. Fresh legs. Yep, yeah, thanks, Isaac. Appreciate that, dude. Just got in the way there instead of making a run. Let's put in Tavares. No. I should have done it over the top. I should have chipped it. And that's going to be it. Oh. Oh, why did you have to touch it, Yanazai? That was our throw otherwise, and we could have maybe gotten the attack. I'm so sad we haven't won this game. I genuinely thought this is like a, a, a turnaround moment. You know, beating Barcelona, who haven't lost a game, but then... They score straight away to equalise. Man, that's that's gutting. Well played, though. It wasn't a bad game at all. Valencia are taking on Real Madrid right now. Let's hope that Madrid have lost. At least I thought they were playing now. I guess they're playing in a moment. Let's go ahead and do the training here. There you go. Baron, his name, is up to 76 now. OP training. I know I keep mentioning it, but it is it's ridiculous. In fact, while I'm here, I'm going to see who is the the fastest growing player. So, yeah, both my youngsters have gone up by four. I, it's it's crazy. We're not even six months in yet. It's ridiculous. Isaac's up by two. Jovic is up by two as well. Yeah, absolutely madness. It really is. Okay, so up next we have Osasuna away from home. I'm actually going to simulate this one. I want to get into the window and have a look at our options here. And we get a 2-1 win. No injuries. That's good to see. And maybe William Jose did play earlier because he's on the bench right now because of the injury to um, Porto. I forgot about that. But we've got the 2-1 win. Okay. Thank God for that. For a moment, I thought we were going to lose that one. So going into the transfer window, we are in fifth still. Could be a lot worse, couldn't it? But there's uh, training again. Tavares heading his way up to 77. The, the, the player he's kind of replaced in the team is 77 rated, I believe. So he's already pretty much there. Oh, he's 78 now. I think he, he began at 77. So uh, yeah, what a signing he's proved to be. He's already gaining a lot of pace and better defending. What a signing. Thank you to the guys in Discord for voting for him. I think Emerson would have been great, but Tavares has proved to be a good signing so far. I'm already thinking ahead of time. Maybe this time next season, we will have another centre-back that partners up with Torres. And, um, well, potentially we would have a different cam if we don't get Erdegaard. But, man, I, I do need to get him back, don't I? I really do. Okay, well, let's go into the transfer window. I don't think we're going to do anything yet because I would rather wait till you guys can let me know what you would like me to do with the team. But uh, let's do another bit of training, which was successful. Some growth there. And uh, I don't think we've even got the money to do anything, really. We did spend a lot of our money on the signings we've already made. But the window is now officially open. We have, yeah, less than a million. <laughs> uh, let's move the budget a little bit. Let's go to 50-50. So we've got three mil. There's no way we're going to be able to do anything with our budget unless we sell some players. But I still have a striker, a midfield, two midfielders probably that I can sell. Ideally, I sell four people. I think we, we can sell four players and get away with it. So Sola's one of them. Rodriguez is the other. And then one, one of the centre mids, maybe. We get rid of Guridi and Bautista. I think those are the players we want to sell. Now, this is interesting. We've got an offer coming in for Ilaramendi from Liverpool. This might be an opportunity to get quite a lot of money for a player that isn't going to improve. And my mind is going a bit like, I feel like, again, I'm listening to my brain or my heart in this situation. Right now, my heart's like, I should keep him. Ilya Remendi's a great player. He's part of Real Sociedad's team in real life, a, my, a major part, right? Because he's, he's one of their most experienced players. But then my brain is like, but dude, you've got no money. And you can, you can get maybe 26, something like that for him, which is a lot of money for a player that really isn't in my plans for the near future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delegate. I'm going to start the offer at 25 because I think I would take that, but I would not sell him for less than 22 and a half, let's say. 
I'm, I'm definitely interested. That's why I'm going to accept this. I don't think I would miss him. Put it that way. But I know that he's he's a good player. Thing is, with that money, I could do quite a lot. So I think, yeah, we're, we're going to see what happens. I have transfer listed all the players that I really want to sell. He's not one of them. Um, but an offer's come in. So what can I do? The next game would be Villarreal. That will be in the next episode. We've got a player returning from injury. Porto finally is back. That was actually a pretty quick three months, though, wasn't it? So um, we can put him on the on the bench for now. Um, he's not ready to play just yet. But, of course, he will come on for Yanazai and we'll swap the wingers around. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this episode, guys. We played Real Madrid. We played Barcelona. We're now in the window as well. I wanted season one to go somewhat quickly um, because this, this series will get more interesting in season two and three when we're really trying to fight with Barcelona and Real Madrid for those top two slots. But uh, thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please do leave a like rating and make sure you're subscribed as well. I get so many viewers watching my videos that aren't subscribed and I'd love it if you could just click that red button. Make sure you never miss a video. Make sure you join the Discord as well. The uh, Patreon and the Twitch link is down below and I will see you in the next episode very soon.